one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Yeah, you can keep the conversation a little bit. Good. And three, four. So uh, try that one more time. Go back. Okay. Of the fourth measure. So. Yeah, so not a lot, okay? But it's like you get there, and that was good. You did it a little bit, and if you want to do it a little bit more, like maybe hand on shoulder, or maybe just turn your head. Teeny bit of conversation, okay? Good, so we have ba 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 one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, and three. Two, three, four, and four, two, and strike your pose. Oops. Five, two, three, Four, stay six, two, change three, four, stay seven, two, three, four, go eight, uh, two, uh, three, switch. Yes. Well, I'm very excited to be directing Kurt Vile this season. I'm, I feel honored that Jim asked me to direct Kurt Vile. Mm -hmm. um, I have done a lot of directing in my life. Um, I'm fortunate in that I started in a repertory company when I was 20. Um, and very quickly I was asked to pass on the work to the new dancers and when I moved to New York I also worked with a really great repertory company, Rondo Dance Theatre, and he, we did repertory and um, I worked with a lot of great people and oftentimes they would ask me to, when they left, they would say, you know, would you ever see this piece? For instance, like Murray Lewis and his piece, Box Suite. Um, or Mary Anthony um, with Charles Weidman's The Fables. Um, and even uh, Palabolus, um, Moses Pendleton, rather, Monix, uh, with his bonsai. So um, I, I really enjoy restaging dances. I enjoy directing. I really enjoy um, helping dancers find themselves in the dance, you know, because to say you're reconstructing something is kind of harsh. You know, you want, it's, our, our question is always, how do we keep modern dance alive? You know, because it is, it is a thing. But Anna's work, for her, it was always evolving. And so we want to stay with what we think is her vision for the steps as she, as she made them. The sequencing, the steps, the musicality at the time when she made the piece. But, okay, so now this dancer is doing that role. How do we help that dancer find themselves? Because I think more than... Anna, I don't think, ever found her steps to be precious. What was precious to her was whether or not she believed you. And the worst thing Anna could say, <laughs> one of the worst things she could say was, I don't believe you. No. And the best thing she could say to you was, I believe you. Or that was very good. That really, uh, that was something. I like you so, Johnny. Let me spend that thing. And I, I love dancing Sokolo, but I'm, I love sitting and watching it too. And being able to, um, and being able to direct, being able to have a voice, being able to um, help a dancer find a nuance, or give them ideas, give them possible choices and say, okay, play with that idea, or what do you think, try something. I will, I will let you know if it's not right, or if it's, gone too, if, you've got, if it's too much or too little, I'll let you know. And I also really appreciate the fact that Jim trusts me to do it, and seems to appreciate the things I have to say to the, the newer dancers, the younger dancers. So once again, not too much in the air, it's 
Just a little bit like bringing the feet together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And then a little bit. Yeah. And then coming back. So don't work too far up. Right? Yeah. 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 Keep the heels low when you do the chin chin. Do you do a chin chin? Yeah. So you want to Keep the heels low when you do a chin chin. Do a low chin chin. It's too high on the heels. Keep the heels. Yeah, keep them low. Oh. There it is. Remember that girl that you did with the Hawaii with the skirt? You, know? you gotta give image to it, right? right? From the beginning, ready? And it really challenges you because you know people when people hear the tango or they hear the word the tango, they always like put on a facade or a, a persona. And it's like you definitely can't do that. <laughs> But at the same time, though, it's like, what makes you want to put on that persona? And if you go back to, you know, the teens and the 20s and the 30s, when it was sort of all the rage and was being found by the youth culture and all, it's like, well, what stirred them? What made them feel passionate? What is it about them that they found in the tango, in the music, in the steps? And, and just an honest choice of music and... Um, the Kurt Vile music, the lyrics, the, you know, the Bertolt Brecht lyrics, and um, it's such a wonderful piece because it is the winds of war. So much about the entire piece is like 1935, 1933, you know, the winds of war, what was coming, you know.